The female standing over the baby is behaving strangely, but she is not the calf's mother. Her name is Atamali. She is an orphan from the elephant transit home. She's trying to shove the calf's mother out of the way. It seems she wants the baby for herself. Not surprisingly, the mother isn't happy. There's real danger here. With all the shoving, the calf could be injured. Calf's grandmother leads the baby aside. The females will have to sort this out for themselves. This very unusual behavior is rarely witnessed. African elephants sometimes kidnap a calf from another family as a display of dominance. This is different. And almost certainly, this is a direct result of Athamali's orphan upbringing. The biggest shock is the fight's outcome. The mother loses. That creates a serious problem. The calf is too young to know any better, but it's now following Athamali instead of its mother. Athamali has no milk. The baby could starve. Why did she even steal it in the first place? In the elephant transit home, where Athamali grew up, none of the elephants have parents. Instead, the older orphans take the younger elephants under their wing. To Athamali, this isn't stealing. It's sharing and caring. Her intentions may be good, but the outcome could be disastrous. Oh, look. Come on, Gawa. Baby Gawa with nannies in attendance, is preparing for her very first bath. When you're just a few days old, everything is an adventure. She's right on the edge. If you're not careful, you're gonna fall in, baby. Careful, 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 careful. Oops, a daisy. There's one way to do it. She's fine. Anything Weaver can do, Gawa can do as well. In comparison to Gawa, Weaver is looking strong and confident. So much so, she's taking the hard way out of the waterhole. Up you come. You can do it. You can do it. Wendy lends a helping trunk. A bit of help? Or is that a hindrance? No, that's help. 
In times of real need, the nannies are still there for her. That is so lovely to see. Look, she's getting crowded round by other elephants. They see that she's struggling a little bit. He's just helping her out. It's a trunk coming down. That's really wonderful. Do you know, that's sort of a testament to how much Weaver has come on. She's pushing herself. She's testing her abilities. She's back on dry land. Now, it's Gawa's turn. Oops. Oh, I think you've come up too soon. That baby's going to struggle. Whoa, she's almost doing the splits. Oh, my goodness me. Bambi, up you come. Come on. Up you come. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I see. At this age, she has limited energy reserves. Quickly, she's overwhelmed with exhaustion. Baby elephants can perish stuck in the mud. Her head's flat down in the mud. She's, she's really tired. The adult members of this herd sometimes lack the experience to deal with problems. Normally, herds are led by an older matriarch who would know how to get Gawa out of this maze. Benjamin has to show them the easy way out. Just trying to encourage them out. Okay, Benj is just going to go in and see if he can push them out. That's the one. <laughs> that's doing it. Yeah, that's helping, definitely. Look, she's coming out. Out you come. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. Yeah, she's out. Whew. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Look at that. That is one very happy, very muddy baby elephant. On the other side of the world... Come on in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Roxy wants to see if she can help Moyo reach an important milestone in his rehabilitation. Come on. Come, Moyo. Move. At just a few days old, Moyo nearly drowned. As a result, he's developed a deep-rooted fear of water. Months of therapy have rebuilt his confidence. Today, he faces a big challenge. We're going down to the big dam and uh, trying to help him get over his fear of water. Come on, let's go see. I'm just going to walk straight in and see what happens. Come on then. Even with Roxy and Josephine encouraging him, Moyo isn't keen. Oh. You know, they say elephants don't forget, and perhaps he will never forget his trauma. But at least if we can show him that it can be a bit of fun, we can sort of retrain his brain to cope with that early memory. Come, big boy. Come on, big boy. So hopefully he'll just settle. We'll just go slowly, slowly, slowly. Come on, then. Come on. Good boy. Come, Moyo. Come on. Come on. After some gentle reassurance from Roxy, Moyo finally takes the plunge. Oh, that's so fantastic. So fantastic. Come, Moyo. Well done. Good boy. This is awesome. Really awesome. It's better than I anticipated. But I think it helps being in the water with him. Good boy. As his confidence builds, he begins to enjoy the experience. Fantastic. This is really a big breakthrough. It's a really, really big breakthrough. 14 months of around-the-clock care and therapy have led to this moment. It's an enormous, enormous milestone, and it's one that I've actually been dreaming about. Just to swim with, with Moyo properly. Yeah, no, I genuinely, off. Oh, I love that. I really loved it, so it's great. And for Moyo, it's a huge step forward in his long journey back to the wild.
you give them a little bit of confidence, a little bit of love and yeah, reassurance and they just want to please you, you know? He, to begin with, he was doing it to please me and then he, he started to have fun. And I just love that about Ellie's. It's wonderful. With the grass gone, all the elephants can scratch from the dust is withered twigs. The adults might just survive on this, but it will not support a calf for long. Every mother in the herd is struggling to provide milk for her calf. The search for food is increasingly urgent. As the herd moves on, this female faces a terrible choice. to carry on with her family or stay behind with her calf, who's becoming too weak to even stand. They will soon be out of sight. But her instinct is to stay. She won't abandon her baby. With the calf's last breath, she knows that her battle is lost. Elephants are in immediate danger. They must drink almost daily. Driven on by thirst, they march hundreds of miles across the parched plains.
Relying on memory, the matriarchs lead their families to those special water holes that saved them in previous years. This one still has water, but they must share what remains with desperately thirsty animals of all kinds. These are tense times. The elephants dominate the water hole, but as night falls, the balance of power will shift. Thirsty herds continue to arrive throughout the night. It's a cooler time to travel. In the darkness, the tables turn. The elephant's night vision is little better than our own. But lions have much more sensitive eyes. <laughs> are hungry and the elephants seem to sense it. don't usually hunt elephants, but desperate times require desperate measures. This herd contains calves, easier targets. But how to reach them? encircle their young. It's an impenetrable wall of grey. Exhausted stragglers are still arriving. One of them is alone. But it's too big for the lions to tackle. This one looks a little smaller. A 
solitary lion stands no chance. But the whole pride is here. There are 30 of them, and they're specialist elephant hunters. This elephant will feed the whole pride for at least a week. Elephants know these drinking holes are dangerous, but they have no choice. The dramas that play out here are a savage reminder of how important water is for all life on these plains. Thank you.